here is your latest African news. Nigeria. Government demands unconditional repatriation of looted Benin works from Germany. The federal government has instructed Germany to ensure a full and unconditional return of the 1,130 Benin artifacts that were looted from the country in the 19th century and domiciled in German museums. Minister of Information and Culture Al Haji Lai Mohamed made the demand on Wednesday during meetings in Berlin with German Prime Minister with German Minister of State for Culture Prof Monica Gratters and Foreign Minister Mr Heiko Maas. He insisted the return should be whole rather than substantial on the heel of remarks by Gratters that the European nation was ready to make a substantial return of the 1130 looted artifacts. He also said the issue of provenance which has to do with the place of origin of the artifacts, shouldn't actually be allowed to unduly delay the repatriation of these artworks. Ghana. Anger in Ghana over pay for the president and VP's wife. Ghanaians have expressed outrage at the decision by MPs to approve salaries for the wives of the president and vice president for the supportive role that they play. The first lady and the second lady have always been given allowances over the years as part of executive privileges. But Ghanaians are unhappy because they will now receive cabinet level salaries at a time of economic hardship. They could be receiving about 3,500 US dollars a month which is expected to be backdated all the way to 2017. Some have also argued that there is no provision in the constitution for this arrangement. The youth wing of the largest opposition party, the National Democratic Congress, has threatened to file a lawsuit at the Supreme Court to challenge the MP's decision. South Africa. Jacob Zuma could be freed on parole in four months. Former South African President Jacob Gelyehlegi Sazuma could be freed from prison in just four months. The Justice Minister said this on Thursday, a day after the ex-leader stunned his compatriots by turning himself in to the police to start a 15-month sentence. Zuma had initially indicated he saw his sentence as biased and illegitimate as his move on Wednesday was seen as a victory for the post-apartheid state's efforts to enforce the rule of law in the country. Justice Minister Ronald Lamola told journalists outside Escort Correctional Center where Zuma is being held that the former leader would be eligible for parole in four months. Botswana. Botswana Diamonds, second huge stone unearthed in just one month. An exceptionally large and white 1,100 Carat diamond stone has been unearthed in Botswana, trumping another huge precious stone that was found in the African country in June. The latest find, which fills the palm of a large hand, was also discovered in June on the 12th. It was found by the Canadian diamond firm Lucara and presented to the country's cabinet in Gaborone on Wednesday, being the second largest gemstone ever discovered. Last month, Botswana diamond firm Debswana said it had recovered the third largest stone in the world at 1,098 carats. Zimbabwe. China in trouble with Zimbabwean unions over systematic abuse. Chinese diplomats are embroiled in a vicious war of words with Zimbabwe's labor unions over allegations that business people from the Asian country are abusing their local employees. Unions say the Zimbabwean government often looks the other way when they report Chinese for employers for violation of labor laws. The Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions, ZCTU, the largest labor center representing private sector employees in the country, recently torched a storm when it used social media to expose what it described as slave-like working conditions at a Chinese-owned tile manufacturing factory on the outskirts of Harare. Unionists claimed some workers had even died at the factory and their deaths were concealed by the Chinese. The Chinese embassy in Harare, however, reacted angrily to the accusations and warned they might damage relationships between the country and Zimbabwe. 
Diaspora, first African-American wins U.S. Scripps National Spelling Bee. Zyla Avant-Garde, a 14-year-old from New Orleans, won the 2021 Scripps National Spelling Bee on Thursday night, becoming the first African-American winner in the competition's nearly 100-year history. Zyla Avant-Garde sealed her victory by correctly spelling the word Mariah, a type of plant after having to reset on another botanical word, Nepata, in a previous round. The 14-year-old girl will receive $50,000 cash prize. Zimbabwe, you can't lecture us on democracy, ED tells the West. President Emerson Mnangagwa has again warned Western countries to desist from lecturing Zimbabwe on the need to uphold human rights as the same states were involved in the worst abuses against their citizens. Mnagangwa was speaking Wednesday at the State House where he was bidding farewell to Zimbabwe's ambassador to the, to the United Nations, Albert Chimbindi, an ambassador designate to Mozambique, Victor Matemadanda. Mnangangwa also said Zimbabwe waged a protracted liberation struggle to bring majority rule and ensure human rights flourishes. Thank you so much for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tuna Cheki to watch our weekly news reports and our website at tunacheki.tv for all the latest African news updates. You can directly support this news series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And remember that Africa is watching. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa that you'd like us to explore.